Assalamu alaikum everyone. Let's see what is collision detection. Collision of sprites. First we see the case of no collision. Both sprite passes near each other. And now these two sprites are now colliding with one another. This is a collision. And we will detect this collision by using a twist table. Here is the x axis and the y axis. I mentioned a twist table below. If this twist table is true, it means your both sprites are colliding. Let's see detail about the twist table. Here I taken a point x3, x1 and x2. I'm going to check x1 across x2. If x1 is less than x2 plus the width of 2, it means 20 is less than 68. It is true, but x2 is also less than x1 plus the width of x1. And this is a false condition. It means that our x1 point is outside our x2 line, x2 plus w line. It means it is not colliding. No collision is here. Now we take a point x3 inside x2 plus w line and its first condition is true 64 is less than 68 and the second condition of x is also true it means our x3 point is in between the lines it's, it's colliding it's a collision similarly uh, we can check this truth table for y axis. Now we will implement this truth table in the Game Boy. In my last video on Sprite, I will make this file. Now I am going to edit this file for our collision detection. First, we need to declare two variables. First, I am going to declare U byte for the boy location and then for the boss location. These two arrays have two elements, one for X location and other for Y location. Now let's work out in our while loop. In a while loop we will use joypad command and J left keypad button. When we press the left button, it will it will move the sprite to the location 0 and 1 and every time when we press the left button, it will update the boy 0 location, x location by 8. It will minus 8 from the boy 0 location and update the boy 0 and then move the sprite to that new location. 
So whenever you press left button, your surprise will move eight, eight bits in the le left direction. Similarly, we will set the code for our right position, but in this case, we will add eight points. And now we're going to compile the file. And let's see the sprite is moving. It's moving very fast. So to delay it, we add a delay command here. Again, compiling. The sprite is moving with delay. And I'm going to change the Y location of our Y character. I'm going to again compile it. Now we will set the ghost movement. Here in the ghost movement, Every time when while loop executed, its y direction will change. Now let's compile our this file and see the output. Look, the sprite is moving in the y direction. Its x direction remains the same. And if we check that both sprites are passing each other. Because up till now we not added the collision check function here. We need to add the twist table in the form of function unsigned by collision check function. It has four inputs y x, y y, ghost x, ghost y, and then it will return as the truth table value. If it's true, it returns as one. If it's false, it returns as zero. So normally it will give us zero, and here we use while not collision because normally it will give us 0 so not of 0 is 1 so it always while 1 loop is running and when the collision happens it will give you 1 and the not of 1 is 0 and your game is stopped Your sprites are collided with one another. Look, our collision has been detected. The loop is terminated here. Now when the loop is terminated, I am going to hide the sprites. Hide sprite command will hide all the sprites and then I'm going to print a message that game over when the sprite will collide you will see them this message on the screen and your both of your sprites will be disappear now I'm going to save it now I am adding y direction if the y direction is reached at 144 the loop will change the y, y value to 0 value and I am going to 
to set the X location also. The X location of the host is 0 is equal to the boy location of X 0. It means wherever you are standing, the next X location of the host is your X location. So let's compile it and see our output. Look, the ghost is changing its x direction as you are changing your x. Every time it comes to the x value where you are standing and now it's collided, sprites are hide it and a message of game over is shown to you. This is our while loop function and the joypad function j left, j right. This is our collision function and this is all that you stable I have explained in the start of this video. Here 8 is width and 8 is height because we are taken 8 by 8 bit sprites. So these sprites have 8 bit width and 8 bit heights. That's why I am using 8 plus 8 everywhere. So if your sprite has some different width and height so you can use your own height and width thank you everyone for watching my video